Hello and welcome to Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I thought it would be quite nice to do a bit of a body scan, a nice relaxing body scan. Now there's going to be two versions of this, there will be the version with me just talking like this, and there will be a version with me talking like this with music in the background. Like that, a bit different. The music will be by Kevin McLeod. The details of that will be in the description on the podcast. And the yeah, that will be about two hours long. The one with music, so. This can be used for relaxation, it could also be used to go to sleep, which is probably what I'm going to call it, relax and sleep. And there's a lovely train going past in the background. (laughs) You might not be able to hear it too much, but lovely. So, you know, there's always a chance of a few background sounds. With the music, if you listen with the music, then that will very much disguise background sounds. Not that I'm expecting too many, but there is always a chance because uh, I'm recording this in my home. So there you go. So I hope you're well. And so I'd just like to say before we start that you ideally, if you're looking to just relax for, you know, half an hour or something like that, then I would suggest you set your alarm or an alarm to wake you up in the event of you falling asleep, which is very possible because... Of my boring voice. And also if you're listening with the music. Well I. I find it impossible. To listen to music lying down. Without falling asleep. Uh, So you know. It's just a choice. I would say if you've got something important to do. Then. uh, Prepare for that. If you're listening whilst sitting in a chair, first of all, make sure it's comfortable. That should go without saying, really, but, you know, if you enjoy sitting in an uncomfortable chair, but which is unlikely, make sure it's comfortable. It supports your body. Secondly, make sure that it has sides to it so like an armrest or something like that so that if you fell asleep you didn't fall out so safety is important and another thing I would say is when you're lying down don't feel pressured To lie on your back, stiff as a board, and not moving, not, you know, just be yourself. The same as when you're sitting. If you feel the need to move your body, to move your buttocks, to move your back, your arms, your shoulders, 
it sounds weird how do you move your buttock but you know if you just need to sort of readjust your posture then you can do that and I know you don't need my permission but I've seen people in the past that I've done sessions with and they will sit still as a statue you don't need to you can move when you feel you need to move I'm not I'm not doing a paint you know uh, a picture I'm not painting a picture of you I'm not doing a live drawing you don't have to stand static or sit static When you take that pressure off yourself, when you realise that there is no pressure actually in this moment, when you realise that all those pressures that have a tendency maybe of building up and you may sometimes feel that everybody wants something from you. Everybody wants or expects you to be a certain way, to behave a certain way, to to be the one that always says yes, maybe. Maybe to be the dependable one. Of course that might not be the case at all. But we all have... I don't know, I can feel a little bit overwhelming. Where things are expected of us. And a lot of that is probably really good. You know, as far as society goes. To behave and to you know, act a certain way and, uh, you know, all that stuff. To only go to the toilet in specific places, you know, that's, that's fair enough and it's a good thing. I just think sometimes it can be really nice to let go of all of that. Let go of every expectation that exists even if it's just for the short period of this recording it can almost feel like you just Unzipping your skin. You just got a big zip from the forehead all the way down to your belly button. And you're just unzipping it and allowing yourself to just step out of who you may be feeling you have to be most of the time and when you do unzip yourself and you notice the skin falling to the ground and maybe your arms get a little bit caught and you have to shake your arms to get that skin off as it falls to the ground Leaving you feeling fresh, yet sensitive at the same time. Sensitive to how you feel emotionally and physically, but not in a not in a negative way, not in a painful way, but in a almost a new existence way like a new life like you've been reborn without getting all spiritual or any of that stuff but 
fresh, you know? You've unzipped. I mean, we could use the analogy unzipping a skin, or you could just peel off that scab that's ready to be peeled. It can feel nice. Unzipping the skin sounds a bit nicer. Ultimately, letting go of stuff. Let's just call it stuff. And by letting go of that stuff. Feels nice. To just be you. And notice that this is an opportunity. To get in touch with that feeling of accepting yourself. Because the more you accept yourself, the less tension, stress, anxiety occurs. The less of it is available because the more that you accept yourself, the more you notice how well you're actually doing, the more you become aware of the simple fact that you are in fact a really nice person and that you've been doing your best and even though sometimes things don't work out perhaps how you would have liked them to you Really feel connected with yourself in this moment. It feels nice. Especially when you think about it. You think about the fact that you're here now. You've lived. You've done things. You've seen things. You've experienced things. You've probably experienced every emotion possible during your lifetime yet you can still bring yourself to this point of complete calmness you can enjoy being relaxed and maybe you feel sleepy it's 
so good. When the fact is that falling asleep is it's not available really without being relaxed first. And some people think that the only way you can think about things and get things done is by feeling uptight and tense and, well that's just not the case necessarily. Because feeling relaxed. Can clear your mind and increase your focus. If you look at her, as for example. Usain Bolt, I'm a little bit out of date, but you know, he was the Olympic champion. As he's kneeling down, preparing himself to run, his mind. is relaxed and focused on one, just one thing, and his body is in tune with his mind and that focus, which is just, I guess, to run as fast as he can, and to beat everyone else. In that 100 meters or 200 meters or I don't know if he did the jumping over those horsey things, I don't know. So even with physical exercise and physical activities, the benefits of Feeling relaxed can really help you to get where you wish to be in life. And another benefit that you may notice maybe you didn't notice until just now as I mention it another fact is you can only feel positive when you've got a relaxed mind you can only have positive thoughts when you've got a completely relaxed mind it's impossible to have any other thoughts other than positive ones So that's something worth remembering. That's another benefit of slowing things down. And you can feel relaxed when you're doing things. It's just a little bit different and 
it is a different feeling to how you may feel in this moment when you've got your eyes closed and maybe you're lying down on your bed and you're hearing my voice boring you a little bit maybe and you may find your mind drifting slightly and that feeling of self-acceptance that feeling of kindness that you can experience towards yourself not because I said so but it feels like the right thing to do It feels like the right thing to do. It's almost, it's almost like the most natural thing in the world right now is to be nice to yourself. most natural thing in the world right now is to treat yourself with respect and kindness and love but it's not because I've mentioned it or I've said so this is just something that naturally arises within you. Maybe, maybe it's just a feeling. Perhaps that feeling is connected with a positive thought about yourself. Maybe start to be reminded of what an amazing person you really are. And what a great life you have ahead of you. Feeling more relaxed and positive not just towards yourself but also towards others as well And then in your mind you kind of maybe notice the floor where the old skin was and you know the one that you unzipped and you realise that all the old negativities and stress that used to be in your body is in that old skin that's now just lying on a heap on the floor and it's no longer got any energy connected to it so ultimately it no longer exists 
ourselves of those negativities and stresses from the past have gone. And this new skin that's protecting your body which is what the skin does for all of us. This new skin that you're left with, it does way more than normal skin because it protects you from negativity and stress. It protects you from other people's negativity and other people's words that may be unhelpful that perhaps in the past used to have an effect upon you but now that you're aware that those words are no longer able to affect you in any way. It means that you can now feel so relaxed. So deeply relaxed. I'm going to count from ten down to one. If you choose, you can drift into a deep sleep. Ten. Nine. Seven, six, five, four, 